coming through vegan outreach, I'm going to try to do a little bit of an overview real quick before I get to what we do. Um, at this conference, you'll get hit with lots and lots and lots of facts and campaigns and everything. I want to hit just a couple facts I'd like everyone to remember if they can. The first is that we all have very limited resources. As individuals, we have limited time, we have limited money, we have limited emotional energy. As organizations, we're actually very tiny compared to the industries that we will be working against. So, when we choose to do one thing, we are choosing not to do other things. These are just simple facts about it, and that we're human beings, we're, we have finite resources, and there's a lot of things we could be doing. So when we choose to do one thing, and because we think it's important, we're saying it's important enough to focus on this instead of focusing on other things. Another fact is that about 99% of all the animals that will be killed in the United States this year and next year and the next year will die to be eaten, will die to be part of the food process. 99%. So, based on these facts, it is the opinion of those of us who founded and worked for vegan outreach is that we should work on maximizing the amount of suffering that we're able to decrease with our limited efforts. We do this by promoting veganism and ethical eating, choosing compassion in our dietary choices for three reasons. The first is the numbers, that the, the most suffering is caused by factory farming, 10 billion animals, and it's just the land animals in the United States. The second is the amount of suffering. If each of these animals lived happy lives and died painlessly, then we would focus elsewhere. But these animals suffer as terribly as any of the footage you'll see from any of the horrible exploitation of animals this, this trip at this conference. The hard thing about advocating for factory farms is that they're hidden and they're not rodeos on television or they're not circuses that people can relate to. Most people never see a factory farm. Most people never go to a, an industrial slaughterhouse. And the third reason we focus on diet campaigns is the opportunity. We don't have to overthrow the government. We don't have to convince all members of Congress that our opinion is right and they have to pass a law. Rather, every person in the world makes decisions every day that affects the lives of these animals. So every person we meet is a potential major victory for the animals. So none of us have to go out and you know, change the government. None of us have to go out and take down a lab by ourselves. If we each go out and encourage, through our example and the information we provide, someone to change their diet, we're doubling the impact that we have as vegans. Thousands of animals will be spared lives from factory farms by something we can do every day. Vegan Outreach distributes literature. We distribute booklets by, like Why Vegan, Even If You Like Meat, Try Vegetarian. We, we provide these to activists all over the world. This year we'll probably distribute over a million booklets around the world. There are thousands and thousands of members of Vegan Outreach who distribute these booklets. The easiest way is by just putting them in a display rack at, at your local library or co-op or a record store, places like that. Um, the main program we have to reach out to new people who wouldn't walk over and, and take a booklet is called the Adopt a College Program. We pursue the Adopt a College Program for a couple of reasons. One is that young people, on average, obviously not everyone, but on average, are more open to new ideas than the general population. Two is the fact that you know, younger people will have more influence over the course of their life. Not only because they have more meals ahead of them, but because they will be interacting with more people over the course of their lives. And the third reason is because you can reach a lot of people in a short period of time by leafleting at a college. Just a quick story. Last year at a conference, I met an activist named Stuart out in California. He was inspired by vegan outreach especially this book called A Meaningful Life. And you can get any of these booklets at our table, the vegan outreach table in the, in the conference hall. And over the course of last school year, 
Stewart distributed tens of thousands of booklets to students on college campuses. He would go back to college campuses and people would say, yeah, I got this booklet from you when I'm vegan now. I got this booklet from you when I'm vegetarian now. He was back there. This is a person with a family, kids, full-time job, wife has full-time job, and he has led to dozens, if not hundreds, of new vegetarians in just the past school year. That's why vegan outreach exists. That's why these other groups exist, to allow everyone to be an optimal advocate for the animals. You don't have to take down a lab. You don't have to change the government. Each one of us, even if we don't have a group in our own area, we can each reach out to individuals with honest and thorough information describing what goes on that people don't see in the vegetarian alternative. Thank you.